Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the Managing Director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 visas. We are discussing this in a more general context, although it does pertain to folks who are processing their K-1 visa application through the U.S. Embassy here in Bangkok. The point of this video, and I made other videos in the relatively distant past, some years ago, on the issue of petition validity and reauthorization. So what are we talking about? Well, when you file for a K-1 fiancé visa, you first have to get an approved petition from the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. And once that petition is approved, it only has a certain amount of validity, generally speaking, about four months. Now, folks often get really freaked out, and especially now during this COVID response, because we're seeing these cases proceed so slowly especially on the back end where we're dealing with the embassies and consulates because they're not getting through NBC particularly fast. And then folks are contacting me and they're saying, well, the petition says it expires on this date. What do we do? Long story short, consular officers at U.S. embassies and consulates abroad have what I would call pocket authority to reauthorize those petitions for good cause. And Generally speaking, this was done as a matter of course even before COVID-19, as processing could take a little bit of time, notwithstanding the fact that there weren't any you know, obstacles like COVID or the response there too, I should say, that were sort of impeding the process. During this time frame, I do not see where Department of State employees are going to want to be viciously allowing petitions to expire. And it's been my experience, and we have processed out K-1s in the aftermath, of the COVID response. No, they do not, they're not looking to watch these petition validity sort of extinguish. They, in my experience, are approving and reauthorizing the validity of the petition in order to get these cases moved through. That said, you need to go ahead and proceed with alacrity in moving your case through the system, but under the circumstances, you know, hurry up and wait is certainly always part and parcel of the immigration system. As of right now, it's a lot more wait than hurry up. 